Hello everyone, welcome to Bongo IoT. In this tutorial, we'll explore the various features of Bongo IoT and show you how to get started with the dashboard. To begin with, simply go to the URL app.bongoiot.com and log in with your username and password. If you forget your password, don't worry, you can easily reset it by clicking the Forgot Password button and following a few simple steps. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll have access to all features of Bongo IoT. Let's take a closer look at the various modules of the Bongo IoT platform. When you log in, you'll see five panels that represent the various features of the software. These modules include Dashboard to get a statistical view of your fleet. Live tracking to check the live location of your vehicle. Reports for analytics. Charts for graphical representation and graphs. And settings for configuration. Change password and language settings. Bongo IoT offers its users the flexibility to change their password and language preferences across all platforms. This feature allows users to easily update their login credentials and choose their preferred language for a better user experience. One unique feature is the ability to create a personalized login page. Users can easily access this feature by clicking on the customization option and selecting whether they want to customize their login page or the theme of their portal. You can customize every detail of your portal, such as the domain, the application title, the favicon icon, the logo, background image, and even the appearance of buttons. When you access the theme settings, you can personalize the appearance of your application's interface upon login. You have the option to choose from a set of predefined themes or create a custom theme by clicking the custom button. By selecting the custom option, you can modify the buttons and other elements of the theme. When you make changes and click the apply button, the modifications will be implemented and the new theme will be displayed. To switch between applications, you can access the applications menu and choose the desired application from the list. With this feature, you can manage multiple solutions using a single account. Additionally, you can customize the name of the application to your preferences. For instance, if you want to rename the Bongo IoT application, you can easily change it to any other name you prefer. Now, let us have a look at the other modules. The first module is the dashboard. One, dashboard. Here at admin or reseller level, you will be able to see the details regarding the distance traveled and other information, such as the duration and the status of each vehicle, along with its graphical information like distance, idling, driving, stoppage, or other information, such as alerts, reminders, maintenance and activity, speeding, and fuel related graphs. Also, we can see the number of vehicles in its various statuses along with the map view. We can see how many vehicles or which type of vehicles are inserted or not. We can see the number of web versus mobile users, model-wise devices, application usage, and devices versus projects. We can see the number of fleet statuses and application uses. We can see the number of object health, inactive devices, faulty devices, and such. We can see the number of SMS log, email log, violation log, etc. We can see the task status, scheduled report status, data frequency, and much more. We can see objects with max load, top five technicians, underweight statuses, low status, category-wise task, object with least load, etc. But the most important feature of the dashboard is that you can fully customize the way your dashboard looks. You can add or remove various features and also arrange them in any order you prefer. Also, you can resize the diagram as per your choice. This gives you the freedom to have a unique and full customizable dashboard where you can find all your required data on the same screen. Now, let us look at the live tracking screen. Here, you can see the vehicle on the map. The vehicle's various statuses will be shown such as running, idle, stopped, inactive, and no data. Below, the object list will appear. Here, we can click on any vehicle and it would be plotted on the map. Here, if we click on the object, 
in the object sidebar menu, you will be able to find the details regarding this object such as its various duration and information, etc. You can also add geofence and POI. Now, if you need to navigate to a particular location, you can use this navigation option for the same effect. The other option is available in the tooltip summary tab, where you will get a summarized detail of the distance, travel, and the duration of your vehicle in various stages. Then we have a sensor tab where the value calculated from the device will be shown. In case of OBD devices, you will find an object parameter where the various diagnostic information related to various OBD parameters will be shown. And lastly, we can view the current location from this tab. Now, you can check out the history playback of your vehicle using the playback option. You can choose to see the playback for any duration you wish. When you select the duration, a playback window will appear. In this playback window, you will be able to see the complete route, which has a playback option and also if you wish to see the route taken and its playback for an individual trip, that can also be accessed. Path. You can click anywhere on the playback path and you will be able to see the details such as its speed, distance position, and address. Geofence and POI. You can also choose to create geofences and POI at any point as you wish. Payback. You can also watch the playback with the playback option and adjust the speed of the playback as you wish. Apart from that, you can view fuel and image related options. Here, you will be able to see the images captured from your camera and enable devices. You can save this path of the playback and use it for comparison later on. Another handy feature in the playback window is the area measurement tool, which can be used to measure the area and parameters of your playback path. Now, let us see the other features of live tracking. 1. Follow. You have the follow feature first. With this feature, you can track up to four different vehicles simultaneously. 2. Share location. Then, you have the share location option. Using it, you can share the current location of your vehicle on email or phone numbers. 3. Expense. Then you have the option to add fuel and maintenance related expenses for your vehicle. 4. Nearby objects. Then you will find the nearby object option, which leads you to check for any nearby options or POIs with respect to current location of the selected vehicle. This feature comes in handy when you want to know which vehicles are nearby in case of any emergencies. In case of MDBR devices, you will have the camera option. You can give the live video and take the snapshot from your live tracking live screen itself. Then we have the log option which shows for the show log for the device. You can also download it in XLS format from the live tracking option itself. 7. Health Parameter Here is an option to view the health parameter of the device. In case of OBD devices, it will show the health parameter and faulty code by clicking on the Health Monitor option. Geofence You also have the option to create geofences and POIs from the live tracking option itself. 3. Report Now, let us have a look at the Report module where you can select from any reports as you like have the reports ranging from basic travel related reports to reports such as geofence address reports, sensor reports, alert reports, reminder reports, expense reports, fuel reports, RPM reports, temperature reports, job reports, e-log reports, tire reports, driver behavior reports, on-board diagnostic reports, trip classification reports, billing reports, load reports, customized reports, log reports, hardware maintenance reports, employee reports, iSensor reports, Eurosense degree VT reports, document re reports, etc. Now, the layout of all the reports are similar. Here you have the unique feature to download the report without generating. You can download this report in PDF or XLS format.
You can also schedule the report to be delivered to your email addresses at particular intervals. Now you can use the F2P functionality to directly deliver the report in a shared folder. Now you just have to select the duration and vehicle for each report and click on the apply button. Now each report is divided into multiple layers. Summary layer shows you the data for all the vehicles. Then if you need the details of a particular vehicle, you can double click on that vehicle's record. This allows you to go into the particular detailed report of that vehicle. There can be up to three layers depending on the report that has been generated. The column of the report can be shown or hidden as per your choice. You can also sort the report on an ascending or a descending report. You get these various filters depending on the report you have generated. For chart module. Next, there is the chart module. Here you can generate various kind of graphs or charts regarding the distance, duration speed versus time, and battery voltage. You simply have to select the duration and the vehicle for which you need the graph and can generate different kind of graphs as you wish. You can also download it in a PDF format. Here we can see alert wise charts and graphs. We can see the fuel, fuel drain calculated graphs here. We can see expense, tire, temperature, and load related graphs. Lastly, we have the settings option, which is the configurational part of this platform. Here you can create various companies, resellers, vehicle drivers, or alerts. Let us see the features available while creating the resellers or companies. 1. You just have to click the Add option button to create a reseller or a company. Enter the user's name and password so that the company or reseller can log in and you're good to go. 2. You can select the other information such as user settings, time zone, web access or mobile access or both. You can even define it if the particular user should be able to log in only from some particular mobile device by entering the specific IMI. Then the user will be able to log in only from that mobile phone. 3. With the screen access option, you can decide whether to hide or show the screen of the platform. 4. You can also add various map options such as Google Maps, an EM map, or even an open source map. 5. You also have the option to add shifts under a company, but the handiest feature under any company or reseller uses the rule feature. 6. Let's say there are many devices which have difficulty in showing the exact location. Then you can use the role option to overcome the shortcoming of your devices if needed. Not just that, but you can also decide after how much duration of your vehicle should be considered as inactive, stopped or idle statuses or if you need to set up a default screen for a reseller or company. You can use this option. In short, the role option allows you to do configuration to adjust your device data or the portal settings. Seven. Now, let's have a look at the object configuration. Here you can add the object using the single object addition option or the bulk addition option. Here we just need the entire details of the vehicles such as the name, IMI number, and SIM card number related details. Seven. Then we need to have the tire management feature which can be used to add tire pressure and the temperature sensor of your tire. So the report can be generated based on that. Even if you don't have the tire feature and temperature sensor, you can use this feature to manage this inventory of the tire in your fleet. Nine. Next, you have the object group option from where you can group multiple objects together to be displayed in reports. This feature can be used if you need to group some objects for any purposes and one day report is generated only for those object reports. 10. Now, the unique feature is the classify trip, 
With this option, you will be able to categorize the trip of your fleet into personal business or invalid trips. For example, if you use your personal vehicle for business usage, then you can identify those trips under business. In last, we have the billing module in which you can add postpaid or prepaid tariff plans for your users. Then those users can make online payments based on those usages and tariff plan. For any further help and support, you can get in touch with Bongo IoT 24-7 and visit our website www.bongoiot.com. Thank you for going through the demo and welcome to the best vehicle tracking software on the market.